Hey folks, Armin Hammer here, and today I wanted to talk about the worst case scenarios. Exactly how all these CrossFit Games changes could go terribly, terribly wrong. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I was not a big fan of these changes when they were first announced by CrossFit HQ, but the more I think about it, the more hopeful I am that these are actually going to be working out pretty well in the long term. That said, I'm also a realist, and I know that this is not a done deal and success is not guaranteed. So it's important for us to lay out exactly where this can go badly. And this is a not exhaustive list of all the ways that this thing can just fall right apart. One of the more unlikely, but also most common scenarios that people like to talk about is that open participation will tank. Maybe people will realize that they shouldn't be aspiring to be professional CrossFitters or that they're not as competitive as they think they are. Or maybe it's a boycott to show HQ that they aren't happy with regionals being removed. But one way or another, the fear is that the open will suddenly become completely irrelevant and empty. I actually don't think that's going to be a real issue, but it's important to mention it just in case. I do think that the following issues are probably the actual types of problems that HQ needs to be able to solve in order for this to take off. Here are a few ways that the sanctioned qualifiers, the circuit, could actually suck. The repeated online qualifiers for the sanctioned qualifying events could completely drain and break the bodies, souls, and wallets of all the aspiring athletes. Perhaps judging won't be up to standard, and bad calls will amplify performances and qualify athletes who shouldn't be qualified. Or perhaps drug testing protocols don't stand up to scrutiny and it casts doubt on all the qualifiers. The sanctioned events could also start relying on invites instead of online qualifiers, which would actually kind of hurt the process and make it more of a popularity contest. One of the biggest hurdles that we're gonna have to face when it comes to these sanctioned qualifiers is actually the broadcasting. You see, each of the qualifiers is going to have the freedom to have their broadcast rights carried by whoever they choose. So while some might be free to watch on Facebook or YouTube, others might be behind a paywall. And there's no saying what the quality of that broadcast is gonna be across events. Some of them might be very well covered, some of them might be very sparsely covered. While that is a short-term concern, and in the long term, hopefully this idea proves itself so all these broadcasts can be brought up to speed, it's possible that in these early years when these broadcasting rights are still being determined and the quality of these broadcasts is still being determined, maybe viewers are gonna lose interest because it's tough to follow follow the action or see what's going on and have that excitement of watching the CrossFit Games. It's also possible that the games themselves fall apart. With that many qualifiers, it might just be boring and a slog to watch any of the action. Or perhaps the programming itself suffers from Dave Castro's need to cater to hundreds of athletes who may not be at the same caliber of fitness that we're used to at the games. Or maybe Madison is just unprepared to handle that type of an influx of international athletes. It's already a tough place to get to and get out of, and it's not gonna be getting any bigger or easier to travel to over the next few years. And the last way that the games could fall apart is if a large percentage of the qualified athletes decline their invitations, making it seem as if this new format is a failure when maybe it just needs some time to get its legs under it. The fact of the matter is there are a lot of pitfalls here, and CrossFit HQ is definitely taking some chances to change this process. That said, HQ has proven itself to be pretty good at handling the curveballs that come with running an event like the CrossFit Games, and I have no reason to believe that they're going to suddenly be way, way worse at their job. There are many valid criticisms about the new CrossFit Games format, but until we have all the details, and until we see how HQ is planning on solving some of these problems that we just talked about, I think it's important for us to give them the benefit of the doubt and know that they probably have the same interest in making this thing work, if not more of an interest in making this thing work, than any of us do. If there's one thing that you guys have been, it is vocal. So if you think that I missed a big problem, or maybe I'm just going too easy on CrossFit for these CrossFit Games changes, let me know. You can let me know in the comments below, or you can find me this weekend at the Granite Games in St. Cloud, Minnesota. And you can just tell me face to face. Remember folks, there is a whole lot going on in our sport and it's easy to miss some of the most interesting and important stories and analysis. That is what I am here for. See you next time.